Hello friends, welcome to EC Academy. In this lecture, we will understand common emitter configuration of a transistor. Figure shows the common emitter configuration of a transistor. Here a PNP transistor is used in common emitter configuration. You can see we are using a PNP transistor. The emitter terminal is common between input and output. So the emitter terminal is connected to ground and here IB is the input current VBE is the input voltage IC is the output current you can see IC is the output current and VCE is the output voltage. The ratio of output current divided by input current will give us the current gain. So that is represented by the term beta or we can write this as beta DC since we are connecting DC voltage here. So beta DC is the DC current gain. Now let us understand the input characteristics of common emitter configuration. So to understand the input characteristics we need to consider the input current, input voltage and the output voltage which should be kept constant. Here input current is IB, input voltage is VBE and the output voltage is VCE which should be kept constant. So if we observe the input side of the common emitter configuration, N side is connected to negative P side is connected to positive. This is similar to the forward bias condition of the diode. Hence in the input characteristics we will get a graph which is similar to the forward characteristics of the diode. So initially as we keep on increasing VBE the input current will be very small until the applied voltage reaches new voltage. So once the applied voltage reaches new voltage the current increases linearly. So so this graph which we have obtained for VCE which is kept constant at 5 volt. So as we increase VCE and we will keep VCE as 10 volt constant the graph starts shifting towards right hand side as you can see here. right? So this shifting of the graph is due to the effect which is known as early effect. So in the future lecture we will understand what is early effect. Now let us understand the output characteristics of common emitter configuration. To understand the output characteristics, we should consider the output current, output voltage and input current which should be kept in constant. So output current is IC, output voltage is VCE, input current is IB which should be kept in constant. Initially we will make uh, IB is equal to 0. So let us consider the equation IC is equal to beta DC IB. So in this equation if we make IB is equal to 0, we should get IC is equal to 0. But we will get some current as you can see even for IB is equal to 0. So this current is due to the reverse bias condition of collector base junction. So this current is due to the reverse leakage current. So now let us increase IB to 10 microamperes. So we know small variation in base current will cause large variation in collector current. Hence initially the output current will be less compared to the input current. Then the current increases more than the input current. So small variation we have done here for base current. So it is giving a large variation in the collector current. Now let us increase IB to 20 microamperes again we will get the current which is more than the input current. The region where we are getting the characteristics we will call that as the active region. So we can call this region as the active region and the region where the current reaches zero. So as we make VCE positive the current will become a zero. So the region where the current becomes zero 
we'll call that as saturation region and the region where the transistor is not conducting we'll call that as cutoff region hope you have understood the topic thank you